How are you? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? I'm also good, thank you. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thank you. Hey, what's up? Nothing much. How's Kathy? She's good. How's your father? He's been ill lately, but he's getting better now. How's your wife? She's good. How are your kids? They're good. How's your job? It's good. Thanks for asking. What's new? Oh, I just got a promotion at work. They bumped me up to sales director. So, how is it? Do you like it? It's okay, but it pays less than my last job. Gosh, Kate, is that you? It's been a long time. How have you been? I'm fine. Yourself? How about we go out for a drink some night? What do you say? Sounds good. Do you have my number? No. Here it is 698 7654634. Where have you been? Oh, I was out of town. I spent three weeks in Switzerland. Was it for business or travel? I was visiting my friends in Geneva. What's been happening in your life? Not much has been going on. Same old, same old. Where have you been? I just got back from Australia. What did you do there? It was another surf trip. You know, I'm a huge fan of surfing. How was it? Oh, it was fantastic. Hi, what's your name? Carol. What's yours? Peter. Where are you from, Carol? I'm from the U.S. And you? I'm from Russia. Where are you from? I'm from Britain. How about you? Where are you from? And I'm from Israel. Is this your first time here? No, it's my second time. Where are you staying here? I'm staying at a hotel. What's your name? Jess. It's short for Jessica. And you are. I'm Brent. Where are you staying? I'm staying at a hotel. It's up there on the hill. Where are you from? I'm from Holland. How about you? Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Are you Russian? Yes, I am. Where are you from in Russia? I'm from Nizhny Novgorod. Where are you from? I'm from Italy. Where do you live in Italy? I live in Venice. Is this your first time in Moscow? No, I've been here a couple of times. Are you here on business or vacation? I'm here for work. How about you? I'm here on vacation. Do you like it here? Yeah, I like it a lot. Where are you staying here? I'm staying with some friends of mine. How about you? I'm staying at the Hyatt. It's the new hotel next to Red Square. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. And you? 
I'm from Sweden. Is this your first time in Shanghai? Yes, this is my first time. Are you here on business or vacation? I'm here for a business convention. Are you here by yourself? No, I'm here with my wife. She has gone shopping. Where are you staying? We're staying at the Marriott. Are you staying in this hotel? Yes, I am. Are you staying here too? No. Hotels are expensive here. I'm renting an apartment in the city center. Are you here by yourself? No, I'm here with my family. How about you? I'm here with a friend. Is this your first time in Colombo? Actually, yes, this is my first time. Do you like it here? Yeah, it's a nice place. It's too hot, though. How long will you be in Sri Lanka? Until the end of next week. Will you stay in Colombo the whole time? No, we'll stay here two more days and then we'll go to the Hikadula Resort. Do you live in Dubai? No, I actually work here for my husband's company. How old are you? I'm 39. Do you have a family? I'm married and I have two kids, a boy and a girl. How old are your kids? They are seven and ten years old. They're in school. What do you do in life anyway? I'm a doctor. I work in a hospital. How old is your wife? She's 35. What does she do? She's a designer. At the moment, she's looking for a job. How old are you? I'm 25. Do you have a family? No, I'm not married yet. I have a girlfriend, though. Are you a student? No, I graduated last year with a master's degree in economics. Have you found a job yet? I have. At the moment, I'm working for Microsoft as an economic consultant. Are you happy with your job? Totally. It's exactly what I wanted. Were you born in the U.S.? No, I was born in Albania. My parents immigrated when I was 10 years old. Do your parents still live in the U.S.? They do. They live in Florida, and I live in New York. Do you ever go to Albania? I go back every once in a while. I still have some relatives there. Where do you live in New York? I live in Manhattan. What do you do? I'm in the television business. I'm a broadcast journalist. Where are you from? I'm from Germany, but I was born in Turkey. Do you ever visit your native country? Almost every year. My parents like to go there. Did you go to college? Did you study at the university? Yes, I did. I have a degree in marketing. How old are you? I'm 28. Do you have a family? I have a wife and a kid. How old is your wife? She's two years younger than me. She's 26. What do you do professionally? I'm a sales manager at a car dealership. How about your wife? What does she do? She's a dance teacher, but she's not working at the moment. She's taking care of our one-year-old son. Gina, do you have a family? 
No, not yet. For now, my career is my priority. The biggest part of my life is devoted to work. What do you do professionally? I'm head of marketing in a publishing house. Are you busy with work? Yes, I am. Oftentimes, I work extra hours. What do you do in your free time? I'm in love with going to the gym. I work out in the gym three or four times a week. What do you do professionally? I'm head of staff in a big company. Is your job demanding? Oh, yes. I'm working with a team of 20 people. What do you do in your spare time? I like traveling. I'm also a huge fan of scuba diving. What's your name? Jeff Gordon. Are you American? Yes, I am. Where were you born? I was born and raised in New York. How about your parents? My mother is Jewish. She was born in Poland. She was brought to the U.S. by her parents back in the mid 60s. My father is Italian with a Jewish background, but he was born in the U.S. Do your parents live in New York too? No, my parents are divorced. My mother is now living in New Jersey with her new husband, and my father lives in California. What do you do in life? I'm a columnist. I write articles for newspapers and magazines. What do you do for fun? I play guitar. When I was younger, I used to play in a rock band. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Where were you born? I was born and raised in Moscow. I moved to Canada 10 years ago. Do you like living in Canada? It was tough in the beginning, and still I have to work hard to pay off my loans for the house and for the car, but on the whole, I'm happy with my life. Did you bring your family to Canada from Russia? Sure, but it so happened that my wife and I got a divorce four years ago. Our daughter is in college. She's living with her mother, my ex wife, and our son is studying in the U.S. What do you do professionally? I'm a general manager in a trading company. What does your company do? We sell digital equipment. Is that a big company? It's huge. We have offices in many countries. Our head office is in Berlin. What do you do in life? I'm an entrepreneur. I run my own business. What kind of business? It's a beauty salon. I employ six people. I work as a beautician in the salon, too. Is business good? It depends on the seasons. We have a lot of customers in the spring and in the summer. In the winter, it slows down a bit. But on the whole, yes, it's pretty good. What do you do? I'm a math professor. I teach math at a university. I teach math in college. How long have you been doing that? Since I graduated. Do you like your job? I do. I like teaching. I like working with students. What do you do in life? I'm a travel agent. I run my own tour company. Do you work in an office or at home? Both. On weekdays, I work in the office, and on weekends, I work at home. What do you do at your job? I book airplane tickets, boat trips, and hotels. I sell package trips as well. Do you like your job? I like it because I'm my own boss. I've been in this business for over 10 years. I have lots of regular customers. What do you do professionally? I'm in fashion marketing. What does your company do? It's a chain of boutiques. We sell designer clothing. Do you like your job? It requires a lot of commitment and responsibility, but I like it a lot. What do you do professionally? I'm in the pharmaceutical business. My company promotes medicines and beauty products on the Russian market. Do you make good money? 
Well, it depends on the deal. How long have you been in this business? Seven years. What's your professional background? I worked in an oil company for ten years. After that, I quit and changed fields. What do you do? I'm an accountant. What company are you working for? I used to work for an auditing firm, but my position became redundant due to the financial crisis, so I lost my job. Are you looking for a job? Yes, I am, but it's hard to get a job now. What do you do? At the moment, I'm looking for a job. What's your professional background? I used to manage at an art gallery, but it went broke. Before that, I worked as a PR manager at a theater company. What did you do? Fundraising and arranging tours for the actors. Then the owner decided to start an acting school, and he promised me a raise. But in fact, I was fired. What kind of job are you looking for? I want to change fields and get a job in sales. What do you do professionally? I'm a journalist. At the moment, I'm working freelance. I had a full-time job at a publication, but I lost that job six months ago. Why did you lose your job? I didn't get along with my boss. At some point, I didn't get paid for two months, and I had to quit. Are you a student? Yes, I am. I am in law school. Do you have a job? I'm working part time as a waiter. Do you work in the daytime? No, I usually have classes during the day. I work night shifts at a restaurant. Did you go to college? Yes, I did. What did you study? I majored in marketing. Do you work in the marketing field? No, I work in human resources. I'm HR manager. What kind of education do you have? I have a bachelor's degree in computer science and a master's degree in management. What field are you working in? At the moment, I'm working as an IT manager for Tulip Food Company. Do you like your job? It's okay. I have a good salary and good career opportunities. What do you want to achieve in your career? I want to become CEO of a company. What education do you have? I have a degree in literature and arts. Are you working in the field you majored in? I'm an art teacher. I teach at the university. What did you study? I have an MBA in bank management. Do you work in banking? Yes, I've always been in banking. I started as a bank teller, and within ten years, rose to branch manager. Are you a student? No, I graduated last year with a bachelor's degree in psychology. Do you have a job? At the moment, I'm working at a school with kids. Do you like your job? It's okay, but it's temporary. I want to get my master's degree in HR management and get a job in advertising. Are you a student? I'm in my third year of college. What's your major? Linguistics. I'm going to get a diploma in interpreting. What do you plan to do after graduating? I plan on starting my own business, a translation agency. Are you a student? I graduated last year with a bachelor's degree in economics. Do you have a job? Not yet. I sent out letters everywhere, and at the moment, I'm considering a few job offers. What kind of job are you looking for? To be an economic consultant would be perfect. Do you plan to continue your formal education? Yes, in two or three years, I want to get an MBA in economics. Did you go to college? I went for two years, and then I dropped out. Why? My father died in the middle of my first year of college. My family could not pay for my education anymore. I had to take out a loan to be able to finish the second year. Then I dropped out and got a job to pay off my debt. Do you want to go back to college? Sure, if I make enough money, I'll do it next year. What do you do for fun? I'm a huge basketball fan. When I was a student, I used to play professional basketball. Do you play basketball now? I still play basketball a lot, but not on a professional team. What do you do for fun? I like music. Do you play an instrument? I play the piano. I can sing too. 
What do you do for fun? I like driving fast cars. On my last trip to Europe, my friend and I rented a Ferrari and drove all the way from Barcelona to Nice. It was really fun. What do you do for fun? I'm a big tennis fan. I usually play tennis with my coach on Thursday or Friday night. Do you sometimes play at tournaments? I did when I was a student. What do you do for fun? Downhill skiing is my passion. Every year I go to downhill ski in the Alps. What do you do in your spare time? I like watching football games on TV. Do you play football? Sometimes my friends and I play football on weekends. What do you do for fun? I love reading. What kind of books do you usually pick in the bookstore? Crime stories are my favorite books. I love adventure stories too. Who are your favorite authors? Stephen King and John Grisham. His runaway novel, The Firm, is my favorite. What do you do in your free time? I like cooking, and because I have a big family, I have to cook a lot. What do you usually cook? What kind of food? There are dishes that I cook on a regular basis, but I always like to improvise and try something new. My favorite food is Italian food. It's easy to cook, and the ingredients for Italian dishes are available in any food store. What do you do for fun? I like traveling. Where do you usually travel? Many places. My favorite travel destination is Southeast Asia, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia. Do you usually travel by yourself? No, I usually travel with my friends or with my girlfriend. What do you usually do when you travel? We hang out on the beach. We go scuba diving and snorkeling. I personally like riding a scooter. My girlfriend goes shopping a lot. What do you do for fun? I'm always super busy with work. I don't really have time for fun, but when I do get some free time, I head for the gym. You know, I'm a huge fitness fan. What do you do in your free time? I'm retired. All of my time is my free time. So. What do you do now that you are retired? I like gardening. I grow flowers and fruit trees in my backyard. I like cooking too. I plan on starting a small restaurant. What do you want to serve in your restaurant? I'm a person with an Italian background. It will be a pizzeria for sure. What do you do for fun? I'm a great fan of scuba diving. I go on a diving trip three or four times a year. I'm a member of a divers club. We usually travel with a team of people from our club. Where do you usually travel to dive? Usually Egypt. It's only a four-hour flight from Moscow, and the Red Sea is one of the best places for diving. Do you hold any diving events in your club? All the time. The last event took place in the Fiji Islands. It was an international scuba divers rally for sharks in danger. What do you do in life? I'm a freelance journalist and a blogger. What do you do in your spare time? I love DJing. A friend of mine owns a bar. On weekends, I play music in his bar. Is it difficult to learn how to DJ? Not at all. It takes two days to learn as long as you can count to four. That's a joke, right? No, literally. With computer technology, DJing has become way easier than it used to be back in the '80s and '90s. Now all you have to do is learn to manipulate MP3 files on your laptop. What do you do for fun? I'm a huge fan of extreme tourism. Wow, that's interesting. Tell me about it. Why do you like it? Extreme tourism puts adrenaline into traveling. It gives a strong sense of adventure and even physical danger. Some people call it shock tourism. Why do you think it's getting popular? The truth is, a relaxing vacation on the beach or a sightseeing trip is just not enough for me. I see a vacation as an opportunity to experience an extreme sport or explore unusual or even dangerous locations. Can you give me examples of extreme tourism? Rafting, climbing a volcano, bungee jumping, skydiving, and horseback riding in the mountains. What are your personal experiences with extreme tourism? I'm a great fan of bungee jumping. I've jumped from the Macau Tower in China 
and the Victoria Falls Bridge in Zimbabwe. I've jumped from hot air balloons too. What kind of traveling do you prefer? I used to go camping and backpacking when I was a student, but now that I'm a family man with a wife and two little kids, my priority is finding a comfortable and leisurely vacation. Where do you usually travel? I pick places with good infrastructure and tourist facilities. On our last trip, we went to Malaysia. We spent four days in Kuala Lumpur, and then took a domestic flight to the Langkawi Resort. How long did it take you to fly from Kuala Lumpur to Langkawi? One hour, roughly. Do you like traveling? I love traveling. I always travel. I can't live in the same place more than two months. Do you have a job? I have business on the internet. I can work from anywhere. All I need is Wi-Fi. My work allows me to live where I want. What do you prefer to do on your travels? I socialize with people a lot. I make new contacts and find new friends. I keep in touch with many of them through the web. What's your favorite travel destination? I travel for business most of the time. Where do you usually travel for work? My company operates in a number of world markets. We have huge branches in the Middle East, China, India, and Brazil. At the moment, I supervise the Chinese sector. Two years ago, I supervised in Brazil. How often do you usually travel? Two or three times a month. Literally, I live on airplanes. What do you do on your vacations? Do you travel too? Oh no! With my lifestyle, I prefer to stay at home. I want to wake up in the same bed at least on my vacations. Do you like traveling? I love traveling. What do you prefer to do when you travel? I like active tourism. I'm a big fan of mountain biking. How long did you stay in the Crimea? Eight days, including the day of arrival and departure. Did you go biking every day? We did six trails, one trail each day. Where did you get that lovely tan? I just got back from a vacation in Egypt. I went there with my girlfriend. What did you do there? We hung out on the beach. We went to a coral reef on a glass boat. Did you see the pyramids? No, we didn't have time for that. But we took a bus to Luxor for a hot air balloon ride. Do you like traveling? Oh, I do. Who doesn't? Where was your last trip? It was a short trip to Rome. What did you do in Rome? I went sightseeing and shopping. The last week of January is a clearance week for Rome. You get very good deals for famous brands like Roberto Cavalli, Armani, Brioni, Burberry, and many others. Great. And what cultural places did you see? Rome is, in fact, an open-air museum. You just get a city map, put on your sneakers, and take a walk through the historical center. You're an experienced traveler. What kind of transportation do you prefer when traveling? Traveling by plane is the safest and fastest way of transportation, but taking a cruise has plenty of advantages, especially if you're interested in full-service travel. What about the cost? The cost of flying continues to grow, and usually options like snacks and Wi-Fi are not included in the price. Cruise prices, however, include almost everything, except for alcohol and onboard casinos. That means you won't have to pay for an additional pillow or portion of fries. Where was your last trip? On my last trip, I went to Vietnam with my friends. How was it? It was great. We stayed in the city of Ho Chi Minh for three days, and then we headed for the resort where we had booked a very nice hotel. Did you like the hotel food? It was good. A bit too much of the local food, though. Did you have a problem with the local food in Vietnam? Well, the truth is, it contains some ingredients and spices that I just can't take. So my breakfast was a couple of fried eggs. Did you like the hotel's staff and housekeeping? The housekeeping was excellent. The housekeeper was happy to get a two-dollar tip. On the whole, the staff was very friendly and helpful. They didn't speak very good English, though. What kind of hotels do you prefer when you travel? I'd rather get a cheaper hotel and save money for restaurants and shopping. 
Anyway, I usually read a lot of reviews before I make a booking. How about sushi? Great. There's a sushi bar just around the corner. Are you hungry? No, I've just had lunch. Do you know any good restaurants in the area? I know a nice place. They serve excellent seafood. Do you like seafood? I love seafood. Let's go there. Have you eaten? No, I'm starving. I've only had two cups of coffee in the morning. How long will it take to get it delivered? Around 10, 15 minutes. The Pizza Hut is not far from here. What should I get for takeout tonight? Chicken rolls with lettuce and rice would be fine. How about a bottle of wine? Red wine is a good idea. What do you prefer? Eating out or cooking at home? Eating out saves a lot of time, but it may be expensive if you do it every day. How about you? What do you prefer? I prefer homemade meals. I think they are way better than restaurant food. I like to cook. I have no problem with that. Eating out is fun, but you still have to get food from the store for breakfast in any case. What's your favorite food? Italian food is my favorite food. It's delicious and easy to cook at home. Do you like Chinese food? I don't really like Chinese food. I prefer Thai food. Do you sometimes eat fast food? All the time. Burgers and pizzas are my favorite food. Do you like fast food? I hate it. Fast food is not healthy, and I try to eat healthy. You're in good shape. What do you do to stay so fit? I watch my diet and exercise on a regular basis. I cut out cigarettes, beer, and fatty foods. Do you eat carbs? I eat chocolate sometimes, but I have it under control. Do you eat bread? No, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm on a low carb diet. Do you exercise? Sure. I work out in the gym and go swimming after my workouts. It's a nice day today, isn't it? It sure is. It's a beautiful day. It's cloudy. Do you think it will rain? It might rain. Grab your umbrella and coat. What is the forecast for tomorrow? It will be a cold and windy day. Wear something warm. What is the forecast for today? They're predicting a warm and sunny day. Should I grab a coat? I don't think you will need it. You will get hot in a coat. What is the weather forecast for today? It will be cold and windy with a chance of light snow. Should I wear a hat? Grab a hat just in case you get cold. What did you do on the weekend? It was raining hard all weekend. I stayed in the whole time. Do you not like walking in the rain? I do it sometimes, but not when it's pouring like that. What did you do yesterday? I went out jogging. What is the weather like today? It's really wet out. This morning it was snowing, but now there's sleet. What will you do tomorrow? It depends on the weather. What's the forecast for tomorrow? They're predicting a cold and windy day with a chance of light snow. The temperature will drop below freezing. Do you like the climate in Thailand? It's too hot and humid. They have the rainy season in May and June. The heat is unbearable at this time of year. What about the climate in Egypt? It's much better for me. It's hot and dry. It virtually never rains. The only problem is the wind. The windy season lasts from October until March. What is the weather like in your country in the winter? I live in Russia. It's usually cold in the winter. We don't get much sun. The streets are nasty. What is the average temperature in the winter? Usually around minus 10 or 15 Celsius. Does it snow sometimes in the winter? No, it never snows where I live, but it rains a lot. What is the weather like in your country? Well, you probably know that Russia is the coldest country in the world. Winters are long and cold. We get a lot of snow. The average winter temperature is minus 15. In fact, temperatures may drop to minus 30 or more. How about summers in Russia? Summers in Russia are usually short. Sometimes they're very hot and dry, but sometimes we don't get warm weather until the end of June. What is the weather like in your country in the fall? The weather usually gets chillier in September and early October. 
It rains a lot. We don't get much sun. What is the average temperature in the winter? The temperature may drop to minus 20 Celsius or more. We get a lot of snow. The streets are nasty in the winter. What is the weather like in the spring? The weather gets warmer in April. We get a lot of sun. Sometimes we get really warm weather at the end of May. Are summers in Russia usually hot? Not always. Sometimes the weather is hot in the summer, but sometimes the weather may be chilly. Does it rain a lot? Usually, yes. We get a lot of rain and a lot of sun in the summer. Hello, can I help you? No, thank you. I'm just looking. Can I help you? I'm looking for a nice lady's t shirt. Do you like it? It's very nice. Do you think this color would look good on me? You should try it on. The fitting rooms are over there. Can I try on these jeans? Sure. The fitting rooms are over there. How do they fit? The jeans are perfect. I'll buy them. I also need a t shirt to match the jeans. Do you like it? It's very nice. I'll try it on. Can you give me a bigger size? The t shirt is too tight. What color do you have in mind? Black or brown. How about this pea coat? Do you like it? It's very nice. Can I try it on? Sure. What size do you wear? 52. Here you are. The fitting rooms are over there. How does it fit? It's a bit too big for me. Can you get me a smaller size? Sure. This is a size 50. Do you want to try it on? Sure, it looks really nice. How much is it? It's $54, ma'am. Can you give me a discount? $50, and you've got a deal. How about this dress? Do you like it? It's very nice, but I don't like the color. Do you have other colors in this model? What color suits you best? Do you think this color would look good on me? You should try it on. What's the price? 162 euros, ma'am. Can you give me a discount? It's the old collection, ma'am. This dress is on sale. I can give you 50% off of the price. Do you want suede or leather? It depends on what styles you have. What size shoes do you wear? European 42. The shoes are very comfortable. Is suede durable? It is very durable. If you take care of these shoes, you will wear them for a long time. Clean them on a regular basis and use special waterproof spray to protect them in rainy weather. Will you pay cash or credit? I'll pay cash. Hello, I'm looking for a digital camera. Can you recommend something? We have various brands here. Canon and Nikon are the most expensive, but they provide the best quality. Prices range from $70 to $3,000. Can I use this camera in motion? Sure. You can take pictures and make videos with it. This camera has an optical zoom. What's the difference between an optical zoom and a digital zoom? Cameras with an optical zoom produce higher quality pictures. Does it run on a rechargeable battery? Yes, it has a charger. How much is the camera? $463. Does it have a warranty? It has a one year factory warranty. If there's a malfunction of any kind, we will replace your camera with a new one. Is your friend a male or female? Male. Can I take a closer look? Sure. What brand is it? Hugo Boss. It's always a popular choice. Can you gift wrap it for me? We don't do gift wrapping here. You should go to the gift wrap counter. Do you prefer metal or leather straps? I prefer a metal strap. How much? 385 euros. Is it waterproof? Well, it's water resistant. You can't swim with it, but if you drop it into water and take it out immediately, it will be okay. What brand is it? It's to sell. Does it take batteries? No, it doesn't need batteries, it charges with movement. What type of skin do you have? Oily. Do you want a light or heavy scent? 
I'm looking for something light and fresh, a fragrance for everyday use. Would you like to exchange it for the right size? Yes, I'd like to exchange it for a 52. Would you like to exchange it for another model? No, I'd like to return it and get a refund. When will the money return to my account? It depends on your bank, ma'am. Usually it takes around one week. Was there any problem with the phone? No problem at all. I just changed my mind about this model. For how many people? For three people, please. What time? 7 p.m. What name may I put the reservation under, sir? For what name should I make the reservation? Peter Ivanov. What's your name, sir? Peter Ivanov. Where would you like to sit? We'd like to sit near the window. What would you like? I'll have a Caesar salad with shrimp as a starter and spaghetti with seafood to follow. Something to drink? A glass of white wine, please. Are you ready to order? I'm going to have a chicken sandwich with fries and a large beer. Can you get our waiter? I'll take your order, sir. Do you want water to go with the wine? No, thank you. Can we get two menus, please? We'll have two green salads and pizza marguerite, please. What would you like to drink? We'll have a large bottle of still water and two fresh orange juices, please. Are you ready to order? Could you give us an extra minute to think? Do you want rice or vegetables on the side? Rice with curry, please. How about you, sir? I think I'm going to have a carpaccio with mushroom sauce as a starter and spaghetti with bolognese sauce to follow. What would you like to drink? Can you get us a bottle of Rioja Faustino 2009? Do you want water to go with the wine? No, thank you. How would you like your beef filet? Medium well, please. How about you, sir? I'll have the lamb chops with fries, please. How would you like the lamb chops? Rare, please. Are you finished? Can I remove your plate? Yes, I'm finished. It was very good. Thank you. Would you like to see the menu for desserts? No, thank you. I'm full. Just the check, please. Would you like to see the menu for desserts? No dessert for me. I'll just have an espresso. For you, ma'am? The same. Two espressos, please. Are you finished? No, I'm still working on it. How about you, ma'am? I'm finished. Anything else? No, thank you. I'm good. For you, sir? I will have a cheesecake and a small pot of green tea. Do you have fresh berries? Yes, we do. What kind of berries do you have? We have raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, and blueberries. Can you put some whipped cream on top? Sure. And another glass of white wine. What would you like? Do you have draft beer? Do you have snacks? We have burgers, fries, peanuts, and olives. Here's the menu. Thanks. Do you have Smirnoff? Yes, we have Smirnoff vodka. What would you like? A double scotch on the rocks for me, and a strawberry margarita with no salt for the lady. Anything else? We'll have a portion of olives, too. Thanks. Anything else? Do you have herbal tea? Do you have herbal tea? Yes, we do. Excuse me, can I have another cafe latte, please? Sure, sir. Anything else? Anything else? No, thank you. Just the check, please. Is the tip included? No, the tip is not included on the bill. Do you sell cigarettes? You can buy cigarettes here, but you can't smoke inside the bar. May I have a window seat, please? I'm sorry, but we have no window seats left. Do you want to check this bag? No, I'll check this suitcase and carry on this bag. No, it's a carry-on. I will only check this suitcase. Where's that? Take a left here and follow the signs. Where would you like to sit? I'd like to sit near the aisle. Do you want a round-trip ticket? One-way trip, please. What's the rate? The rate for economy class is 245 euros. What flights to Shanghai do you have available for August 15th? Do you want a round-trip ticket? 
Do you want a round trip ticket? That's right. How long will the connection take? Three hours. What's the rate? Four hundred and seventy six dollars. What time does it arrive in Shanghai? It leaves Moscow at ten twenty in the morning and arrives in Shanghai at eleven fifty p.m. local time. Okay, can you book this flight for me? Sure, sir. May I have your passport? When would you like to return? March tenth. Would you like a direct flight? It depends on the rate. Would you like economy class or business class? Economy, please. What time does it arrive in London? Six fifty-five in the morning, local time. I've just missed my flight. What should I do? It's not a problem. We'll try to get you on the next flight, but you will have to pay a service fee. How much will that cost? One hundred seventy-five dollars. I missed my connection. My flight from Moscow was late. What am I supposed to do now? It's not a problem. Don't worry. We have a flight leaving for your destination in two hours. Do you prefer the window or the aisle? The window, please. How about my baggage? When will it arrive? Your baggage will arrive with you on the same airplane. Excuse me, is this open? Can you move over a bit? Yeah, sure. Are you waiting for the KLM flight to Moscow too? That's right. Where are you coming from? Toronto. And you? Are you coming to Moscow for work? No, for a vacation. I'm going to visit my friends. We'll go to Saint Petersburg for a couple of days. How about you? What will you do in Moscow? I only change planes in Moscow. My destination is Delhi. Excuse me. May I sit here, please? Sure. Are you waiting for the Transairo flight to Moscow too? That's right. I hope we're not going to be delayed for more than two hours. Where are you coming from? New York. Yourself? Yourself? Toronto. Are you going to Moscow for work? No, I'm actually going to meet my future fiance. Is she Russian? Yeah, her name's Olga. Is she from Moscow? She's living in Moscow at the moment, but she was born somewhere in the south of the country. Have you met before? No, we've only chatted on Skype. How did you meet? I went through a dating service, and they found Olga for me. You're going to propose, huh? Well, yes. This is my plan. How are you today? Not too good. I've been stuck in this airport for the past twelve hours. I can't wait to get out of here. Are you waiting for the flight to Istanbul too? I sure am. They kicked me out of the hotel. I had to come here. I've been sitting here for six hours now. Where are you headed? Moscow. What did you do in Kayseri? I was here for work. How about you? How about you? I was here on vacation. How long is the layover in Istanbul? I don't know. I just got a text from a friend in Moscow. They've been having heavy snowfall for the past two days. All the flights are two or three hours delayed. The airport personnel can't clear all of the runways in time. Where are you coming from? Moscow. Where will you stay in New York? I'm going to stay with my friends in Manhattan. Are you bringing anything into the country? It is forbidden to bring in any fruits or vegetables. No, I'm only bringing my personal belongings. How long will you stay? Until December twenty seventh. What is the purpose of your visit? I'm a tourist here. What are you going to do in New York? This is my first time here. I'm going to do a lot of touristy stuff: Central Park, Broadway, the Empire State Building, the Statue of Liberty, Times Square. My friends also promised to take me to New Jersey for a couple of days. Where are you going? I'm going to stay with my friends in Newmarket. What's the purpose of your visit? Business or pleasure? I'm a tourist here. What are you going to do during your visit? I was going to see Toronto, Niagara Falls, the CN Tower, and the Royal Canadian Museum. Are you bringing anything into the country? I'm bringing presents for my friends. May I see your return ticket? Sure. Here you are. 
What is the purpose of your visit? Business or pleasure? Tourism and shopping. Where are you staying? I'm staying at the Hilton in The Hague. How long will you stay? Eight days. What airline did you use, sir? Sri Lankan Airlines. May I have your passport, please? Here you are. Can I pay cash? Sure. You can pay cash or we can charge it on your credit card. Is there Wi Fi in my room? Sure. The rate is $10 per hour. Can I get the password? You just need to click on our network and go online. You will get the bill when you check out from the hotel. Where can I get a beach towel here? You can get a beach towel at the beach towel counter in the swimming pool area. Where is the swimming pool? Take the elevator to the second floor, go outside, and you will see a beach towel counter to your left. I need to go to the Central Mall. Is it far from here? No, it's a 10 minute drive from here. How much will it cost me if I go by taxi? $10, roughly. But you have to hire a taxi. There's a free shuttle bus that runs from the hotel downtown. The Central Mall is on the way. What is the schedule for the shuttle bus? You can view the schedule on the front door. What is there in the beach set for $10? One umbrella, a beach mat, and a bottle of still water. Can I rent flippers from you? No, you have to buy them. How much? $25, sir. Excuse me, can I change rooms? What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? The air conditioner in my room is not working. What is it, sir? The television in my room is not working. Can I change rooms, please? What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? The Wi Fi in my room is not working. I don't have internet access in my room. Do you have Wi Fi in the lobby? Sure, sir. You can use the Wi Fi in the lobby. It will be free for you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Excuse me, could you change a hundred dollars for me, please? I need two fifties. Not a problem. Here you are. Also, I was wondering if I can get tickets for a city tour from you? Sure. I can offer you a night bus city tour and a boat trip down the river. Both of them are very interesting. What does the trip include? You take a bus from the hotel and you go sightseeing. You'll get a chance to see the most famous city sites. What time does the trip begin? You will be picked up at reception at 10 p.m. At 1 a.m., you will get back to the hotel. If you want to go off somewhere in the city, you just tell the driver to drop you off. How much is it? $20 per person. When is the soonest trip available? Tomorrow. What date do you want to go? Thursday, the 10th. How about Friday? Friday is fully booked too. Can you book two tickets for me? Sure. I need your credit card number to make the booking. How much are the tickets? $25 for one person. When is the art exhibit open? It's open from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. You can arrive at any time. Can you give me the travel directions, please? The travel directions are on your confirmation ticket. Can I check the balance for room number 504? You have a zero balance. Your deposit will be returned tomorrow when you check out from the hotel. Can I get it back in dollars? I'm sorry, but the hotel rules require that we return your deposit in the local currency. Can I check the balance for room number 618? Sure, ma'am. You made two telephone calls to Russia and you used the Wi Fi. That makes it $95. Can you print it out for me? Not a problem. Here you are. When should I pay? You can pay tomorrow when you check out from the hotel. Can I check the balance for room number 816? Just a minute. I'm going to print it out for you. Here it is, sir. Is everything correct? Looks fine. Do you need any assistance with transportation? No, I'm okay. My tour company will arrange a shuttle bus to the airport. I have an early flight tomorrow morning. Can I have my lunchbox? Not a problem. You can pick up your lunchbox at reception when you check out tomorrow morning. Can I order a meal? Sure, ma'am. What would you like? 
pasta with seafood and tomato sauce and a large bottle of sparkling water. Do you need ice? Yes, please. Can I sign the bill to my room? Sure, ma'am. Is the tip included? No, the tip is not included on the bill. Is that all? Yes, that's all. What's the total? That makes it $31. When will you bring my food? We will get you your order within 10 minutes. Can you change 100 euros for me, please? I need two fifties. Not a problem. Here you are. How much is this purse? $180, ma'am. Will you pay cash or credit? I'll pay with my credit card. What's the total? That makes it $14. I like these shoes. Can I try them on? Sure. What size do you wear? European 42. How much are the shoes? The shoes are on sale. They were $135. Now they're only $60. Will you pay cash or credit? I'll pay cash. Here's $250. I like the shawl. What's the price? It's $90, ma'am. Can you come down on the price a bit? How about two shawls for $120? Let's make it $150 and you got a deal. Where's the currency exchange here? It's to the left from the duty-free shop. What's your rate? It's 6.2, sir. Can I get a better rate downtown? Downtown it will be 6.5, roughly. How much do I owe you? $156, ma'am. Do you accept credit cards? I'm sorry, ma'am. Our terminal is temporarily blocked. Do you accept British pounds? Not a problem. We accept British pounds. How much will that be in pounds? 110 pounds. How do I get to the train station, please? You can take a bus or the subway. Subway will be faster because the traffic might be bad at this time of day. Where's the nearest subway station here? Walk two blocks and take a left. Is there a pharmacy around here, please? There's one further down this street. Walk straight until you see a big green sign. Where's the nearest gas station around here, please? Go straight until the traffic light. Take a left and drive two blocks. You will see a BP sign on the right side of the road. How do I get to the city fair? Take a right here. You will get to the highway. Go straight for about five kilometers, then bear your left and take a U-turn. Then take a right and drive another five or six kilometers. You will be right there. How do I get downtown from here? You should take a bus. The bus stop is just around the corner. What is the number of the bus that goes downtown? You can take any bus from here. They all run in that direction. I need to go to the Central Mall. Is it far from here? No, it's a ten-minute drive from here. How much will it cost me if I go by taxi? Ten dollars, roughly. The truth is there's a shuttle bus that runs from the hotel downtown. The Central Mall is on the way. What is the schedule for the shuttle bus? You can view the schedule on the front door. Which way is the supermarket, please? Take a left at the crossroads and walk straight until the underpass. Cross the street to the other side and walk until the street corner. Take a right on the street corner and you will see the supermarket. Excuse me, is there an ATM around here, please? There's a bank in the lane to the left from the hotel. The ATM is inside the bank. What time does it open? It opens at 9 in the morning and closes at 8 in the evening. What's your charge? That will be $20. How long does it take to get from here to the Creek Park by car? Around 30 minutes. Depends on the traffic. How much will it cost me? Usually it's around $15. Can I give you a ride somewhere? I need to go to my hotel. Can you get a cab for me? Sure, ma'am. Where do you need to go? The Central Square. How are you? What can I do for you today? I need a haircut. Okay. When? Today, if possible. How can I help you today? I need to touch up my roots. What time would be convenient for you? Tomorrow morning would be perfect. How about 10 o'clock? Great. Write me down for 10. Thanks. 
Do you need a haircut? I need just a trim, nothing fancy, just a basic trim. What hair products do you use? We use Cutrine Cosmetics. What hair color do you think would suit me? Your natural color is actually very nice. We can touch it up a bit. This will give your hair a fresh and shiny look. How can I help you today? I need a facial. What time would be convenient for you? We have today at 12 and 1.30 p.m. No, I can't make it today. How about tomorrow? What exactly do you want? I was thinking, I want a French manicure. Do you do shellac manicure? Yes, we do. Take a seat over there and pick the color. What do you want to get? Do you want a pork chop? No, I'm eating differently now because I have high cholesterol. What do you want to get then? I'll just have a green salad with no salt and fresh orange juice. Do you want to get a coffee? No, thank you. I've been off coffee for two months. Why? I think the caffeine is causing my migraines, and I just can't live with them anymore. How about herbal tea? That's a very good idea, actually. Did you take your vacation days on Monday and Tuesday? I didn't see you around the office. No, I was sick. I had the flu. You have red eyes and a runny nose. What's happened? Are you sick or something? No, it's just my allergies. It's spring now, and I'm allergic to pollen. Do you usually have allergies in the spring? It usually gets worse in the spring, but I'm also allergic to dust and cats, so this may happen at any time of year. What do you do to fight your allergies? I take anti-allergy drops to fight the symptoms. How long have you had it? Since I was a kid. Do you have any food allergies? I used to be allergic to pollen when I was a kid. Then it just vanished. Do you like seafood? No, I'm allergic to fish and seafood. When I eat fish, I get an allergic reaction. My throat swells up and I can't breathe. I get a rash on my neck and face, too. What can you do about it? I'm on medication to fight the allergy. Does it help? Not yet, but I hope it will help in the next six months. Can I buy you a drink? No, thank you. I'm on antibiotics right now. Alcohol is off limits for me for the next three days. Why are you on antibiotics? I was very sick and I had to go to the doctor. The doctor said that I had a nasal infection and told me to take antibiotics. Why are you so tense today? What's happened? I started my period today. The first day is always bad for me. I'm feeling nausea and I'm sore all over. Do you take any medication? I usually take painkillers on the first day. You don't look so hot. What's happened? Rough night? The food from last night made me sick. I spent the whole night throwing up. Did you take any medication to stop the vomiting? I took some anti-nausea pills that I brought from home, but they didn't really help. Do you have the same problem? I usually get dizzy and nauseated on the plane. How many pills should I take? You should take two pills one hour before the trip, and two more if necessary during the actual trip. Do they help? Most of the time. Are there any side effects? The pills may cause weakness and sleepiness. Did it help? It did, actually. The flakes were gone after one week of using that stuff. Do you by chance remember the name of the shampoo? I don't remember, but you can get it at any pharmacy that sells Vichy hair care. Have you heard from Ted lately? His drinking problem worsened after he lost his job. He had to go into rehab for a couple of weeks. Do you drink alcohol now? No. I'm five years sober. Why are you wearing that neck brace? What's happened? The doctor recommended wearing it two hours a day to get rid of my neck pain, which I've had for the past three months. Where did your neck pain come from? Did you have an accident? No. This condition builds up with years due to a lack of exercise and a sedentary lifestyle. What else did the doctor recommend? He gave me a shot to help with the pain and recommended a neck and shoulder massage and a lot of fitness. 
For how long do you have to wear this neck brace? Two weeks. It only helps to relieve the pain. After the pain is gone, I have to train my neck and back muscles on a regular basis. You look upset. What's happened? It's my cat. His kidneys failed last night, and I had to take him to the vet. He almost died. If I had waited two hours longer, he would have died. How is he now? Is he feeling better? He is, but his condition is still unstable. He's on an IV. The vet said that his chances of survival are 50 50. How did this happen? It's the food. He's been eating cat food all his life, and somehow it gave him kidney stones. I'm so sorry. How long have you had him? Eight years. He's my best friend. What are you looking for? Who's your perfect guy? First of all, he's too humble to know he's perfect. He's intelligent, supportive, funny. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure, go ahead. Do you have any friends? I do. His name's Paul. We're very close. I have known him since I was a kid. We grew up together. How long have you known Carol? I've known her for five years. We work in the same company. Who is that handsome man over there? Oh, that's Fred. Do you know him? He took me out for dinner once. We agreed to meet again, but never did. How old is she? She's around 50. Does she have a family? Her husband died from cancer five years ago. She fell apart after his death. She even had to see a psychiatrist to get over her loss. After that, she took a class in psychology. When I really need someone to listen to my problems, I always call her. Do you have a family? No, I'm not married yet. I have a girlfriend, though. We were in school together. How about you? Are you married? My wife and I are separated. Our two kids are living with her. How old are your kids? They are 10 and 13. What about your parents? My parents divorced 10 years ago. My mother is now living with her current husband in Milan. Is her husband Italian? Yeah. They used to work for the same company. You don't get along, right? Who? Me and my mom's husband? Not really. I never liked him. I keep in touch with my mother, though. How about you? Why are you separated from your wife? We've been having problems since forever. At some point, the whole thing got out of hand and we just broke up. We decided that it's no good for our kids to see us fighting all the time. What are you up to this evening? No plans so far. Any suggestions? Let's go out for a drink. What do you say? I'd love to. I'm not doing anything this weekend. What about you? Me neither. What time do we meet on Saturday? Anytime after 1 p.m. What are your plans for the weekend? No plans so far. Any suggestions? I have two tickets to a rock concert. I have two tickets to a rock concert. Do you want to go? That's a very good idea, actually. How about Thursday afternoon? I'm not sure about Thursday. I have to look at my schedule again. Shoot, I left my day planner in my office. I will let you know later. What do you plan to do tonight? No plans so far. A new art exhibit is open in town. Do you want to go see it? Sounds good. When do you want to go? When do you want to go? Tomorrow afternoon. I can pick you up from your office at 5. Do you know any good restaurants in the area? Do you like sushi? I know a nice sushi bar not far from here. What time do you finish work tonight? 6 o'clock. Are we still on for dinner tonight? Yep. I've been trying to track you down for the past three days. Where have you been? Sorry, I'm just super busy with work. Are you going into town? Yeah, I am. How's it going? Fine. Let me buy you a drink. What do you want? Strawberry margarita with no salt. Do you come here often? I haven't seen you around. The truth is, I have to prepare for my test tomorrow. I have to get going.